Good morning, students. Today's class is about neural regulation of respiration. Respiration involves the process of inspiration and expiration. Respiration is nothing but inspiration and expiration. Why we need respiration? To maintain accurate levels of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the body, we need respiration in a precise manner. Regulation of respiration, it differs from the regulation of other major functions of the body. It is having both involuntary and involuntary control. The rate of respiration automatically changes according to the metabolic requirements of the body. Coming to the, we have voluntary, involuntary control of respiration is there. In the involuntary, we have neural mechanism, chemical mechanism. Coming to the neural control of respiration, we have in this voluntary control of respiration is there, automatic control of respiration is there, reflex control of respiration is there. Coming to the voluntary, what is meant by voluntary? Voluntary control of respiration is during voluntary activities. We have respiratory uh, function is there, we are doing the respiration. Respiration is under automatic or involuntary control basically, but some extent it can be controlled voluntarily as most of the respiratory muscles are voluntary muscles. Respiration can be modified both in rate and depth actually for a specific period only. Voluntary hyperventilation or hyperventilation we call it as breath holding, forceful inspiration or expiration efforts for examples for this. Centers for the voluntary control is motor cortex. Center is in the motor cortex that sends impulses by a corticospinal tract to the respiratory muscles. What are the respiratory muscles? Here the diaphragm and the external intercostal muscles. The diaphragm is supplied by the cranial nerve and the intercostals are intercostal nerves. For inspiration, cranial nerve, what are the neurons? In C3, C4, C5, as you know, external intercostal muscles, what are the neurons in the ventral hormone cells, T1, T2, stimulate the respiratory muscles. Cardiopulmon tract that modifies the activity of medullary neurons. Automatic control of respiration. Automatic control of respiration. The center for this is brain cell. In the brain cell, we have centers in the pons as well as medulla. They are pair structures. It is divided into three major collection of neurons. One is dorsal respiratory group. Second is ventral respiratory group. Third is pneumodactic center. And we have the holistic center is there. Coming to the dorsal respiratory group located in the dorsal portion of the medulla that mainly for inspiration, whereas the ventral respiratory group located in the ventral lateral part of medulla that is mainly for causes expiration and also it controls the dorsal respiratory group of nerve cells. Pneumatic center located dorsally in the superior portion of pons that controls weight and breadth of breathing. A plastic center is lower part of the pons. It is thought to have an excitatory effect in the inspiratory neurons. Here you can see the centers in the medulla and pons. Here we have ventral respiratory group. Both it is having expression, inspiration, and dorsal respiratory group, inspiratory neurons are there. And in the pons we have pneumatic center and we have the acoustic center is there. Pneumatic center uh, will be inhibiting this one. This will be inhibiting the dorsal respiratory group of neurons. And we can check over various endoscopharyngeal nerves. So coming to the 
This is the picture of Dave Kajuna Comics. Coming to the next slide. That is good. When I expect it to functions in both inspiration and expression. This is all the newer concept. Located in the inside of the medulla, about 5 millimeters anterior and later to the dorsal respiratory group of neurons, is the central respiratory group of neurons, found in the nucleus anterior rostrally and the nucleus retro anterior cardiac. It has got two parts rostral and cardiac. Ventral respiratory group differs completely from the dorsal respiratory group. The neurons of the ventral respiratory group remain almost totally inactive during normal fight respiration. They won't function normally, but if the respiratory rate increases abnormally, then they may, may come into action. Normal fight breathing is caused only by the repetitive inspiratory signals from the dorsal respiratory group transmitted away into the diaphragm. And expiration results from the elastic recoil of the lung in thoracic phase. When the respiratory drive for the increased pulmonary ventilation becomes greater than normal, then we have the ventral respiratory group will be functioning. Respiratory signals spill over into the ventral respiratory neurons from the basic oscillating mechanism of the dorsal respiratory area. As a consequence, the ventral respiratory area contributes extra respiratory drive. Electrical stimulation of few of the neurons in the ventral group causes inspiration, whereas the effect of other group causes expression. These neurons contribute to both inspiration and expression. They are especially important in providing power to external signal to the abdominal muscles during very heavy expiration. Neural concept uh, in according to other groups, both dorsal respiratory group and ventral respiratory group are interconnected and equally important for the different expression along with the several other neurons. There is reciprocal innovation between the inspiratory and the expiratory neurons. What about the pneumotaxic center? It limits the duration of respiration, increases the rate and depth of the respiration. It is located dorsally in the nucleus parabrachial ends of the upper pons mainly. And as to the signals to the inspiratory area, the primary effect of this center is to control the switch off point of the inspiratory ramp. It controls the switch off point so that the inspiration will be increased, thus, the controlling the duration of the filling phase of the lung cycle. Limits during duration of the inspiration. When the limited signal is strong, inspiration might last for as it has 0.5. Seconds, thus filling the lung only slightly. When the pneumotaxis signal is strong, inspiration might last for as it means the rate of respiration will be increased so that the filling will be decreased. When the pneumotaxis signal is weak, inspiration might continue for 5 or more seconds so the filling the lungs for greater excess of air. Limitations of inspiration affects the rate of respiration. A secondary effect of increasing the rate of breathing because limitation of inspiration also shortens expression and the end of of each respiration. Strong pneumotoxic signal can increase the rate of breathing to 30 to 40 degrees per minute, whereas the weak pneumotoxic signal may reduce the rate to 3 to 5 times per minute. Also inhibit the uplift center that prevents the apnosis, which is a type of arrested breathing. Apnistic center, it is in the lower pons. Pneumotaxis center is in the upper pons, apnistic center is in the lower pons. Similar the inspiratory center, even is the inspiration. Yes, so feedback from the vagal efferents and also from other respiratory centers. Pneumotaxis center inhibits it. It works in association with the pneumotaxis center to control depth of inspiration. Uplistic center, it is functional in demonstrative by sectioning the vagus nerve to the middle law by blocking the connections from the pneumatic center by transiting the pons in the mid region. This causes loss of invisible control over, over uplistic center, which sends signals to loss of respiratory group and prevents switch off of cramp signals. Lung become completely filled with their and the only occasionally expected gas occurs. Thus, if the vagus is intact, regular rhythm of respiration continues. If the vagus is cut, arrest of respiration occurs, but up means arrest of breathing. 
So summer has everything. I think there is in detail. Here the respiratory centers are in the brain cell. That is in the medulla and palms. We have in the medulla we have dorsal respiratory group and the ventral respiratory group are there. In the palms we have acoustic center, pneumothorax center. Coming to the dorsal respiratory group, it is present in the dorsal aspect of the medulla, extends most of the length of the medulla. Many things, it receives inputs from different parts of the respiratory system and peripheral chemoreceptors via the tendinous nerves. After receiving, it integrates the receiver sensory information and the neurons from the dorsal respiratory group project to the cell bodies of the phrenic nerve in the spinal cord. And second is the ventral respiratory group. It is having two parts, rostral and the cardal. Rostral we have mostly inspiratory neurons and in the cardal we have the expiratory neurons. With both this inspiration and the expiration, they will have individual effects on each other. Here, the neurons of this ventral respiratory group remain inactive during normal respiration, but whenever the respiratory brain becomes greater than normal, then only they will be participating in the respiration. And coming to the uh, other group of neurons are there, they, that we call it as pre-cogular complex, that is present on either side the medulla between nucleus and nucleus, later reticular nucleus. These neurons discharge rhythmically and produce rhythmic discharge to the phrenic neurons. What are neurons? Sectioning of the pathway between the pre-cogular complex and preferent nerve of Marishta. Rhythmic discharge this by this experiment we are able to know that this is generating the mm, these respiratory uh, respirations. That is we call it as central pattern generators are present within the medulla. Substance P stimulates and opioids inhibited. Coming to the agnostic center, pneumotaxis center, agnostic center is present in the lower forms, whereas the pneumotaxis center is present in the upper forms. And the feedback is from the vagus and the pneumotaxis center is there in the agnostic center. This impulses we will switch off of the inspirator ramp signal. This causes the increased tidal value. The duration of inspiration will be increased with the optimistic center. That is the function of optimistic center. Pneumatasis center is there in the upper forms, as I told you. Uh, it is maintaining the rate and depth of the respiration with the help of other signals. Here the duration of inspiration by regulating the switch off point of the inspiratory gland, strong stimulation of the pneumatic center decreases the duration of inspiration. Strong stimulation of pneumatic center decreases the duration of inspiration and increases the rate of respiration. Damage to the pneumatic center causes slower respiration increases the tidal value. Coming to the genesis of respiratory rhythm. As I told you, normal respiratory rhythm is generated by central pattern generators present in the middle We call it as pacemaker cells of pre-vegetal complex. They discharge rhythmically to activate inspiratory signals. The signals are weak in the beginning, but rise rapidly to reach a peak in a ramp fashion for about 2 seconds. This is called inspiratory ramp. This leads to a steady increase in the amount of inspired air. The ramp signal then stops abruptly for 3 seconds. This leads to expiration. The abrupt stoppage of the ramp signal turns off the expiratory impulses to the respiratory muscles. This causes the relaxation of muscles and elastic recoil of the chest wall. After 3 seconds, the inspiratory neuron starts discharging the impulse again. This cycle gets repeated a negative feedback loop in the medulla and regulates the cyclical discharge from the inspiratory neurons. Pneumatic center also plays an important role in regulating the switch off point of the inspiratory ramp signals. It controls the duration 
of inspection, strong signals from the nodal center that uses the duration of inspection. There is an increase in the rate of respiration. In addition, signals from the stress receptors lungs cut on the duration of inspiration, signal to the nematocyst center. Optimistic center has a limited role in the normal respiration. The reflexes that within outside the lung increases the respiration. This is the bottom first part of the regulation of respiration. And here you will be knowing the centers in the medulla. As uh, I told you two or three times, in the medulla, brain cell, it has medulla forms are there. In the medulla, we have two centers, space structures. In the pons, we have two structures. And now, the, see this one, the centric pattern generator, they will be generating the impulses near the inspiration, inspiration followed by expression. Uh, they, and without any external influence, they are generated like that. So that the society will be going on and it has been checked by these different um, centers of the respiration. Coming to the other uh, reflexes of the lung and also outside the lung, how they are regulated the respiration we have in seven years. Thank you all. If you have any doubts, you can contact me.